I was in Ireland for the Motorsport Awards. We went back to America and we got home and I was absolutely wiped out. I had no energy whatsoever. And then four days later, I was diagnosed with acute leukemia. You know, that becomes a life-changing event. It, you, you're confronting your mortality. Myself and Suzanne did a bit of crying. And then we said, we'll get through this. And I was in the hospital on and off for three and a half months. And I got a bone marrow transplant. Three weeks after I had the transplant, I said, I'm going to Ireland. I'm going to drive a Formula One car. And so they said, sure, sure. They went out of the room and went, he's mad. And if somebody tells me I can't do something, that just makes me want to do it. John called me. He said, look, I'd really like to go to Mondello. He said, I need to have a go. I thought, that's a good enough reason to go. The man responsible for the whole thing, Leo Nolte, an absolute character. So that's the fella I called up and I says, Leo, you got the uh, historics going? And he says, I do. And I said, well, let's go. Mondello Park is the physical and spiritual center for Irish motorsports. It's the only FIA sanctioned track in Ireland. But it's like racing used to be about 30 years ago in America. We had 40, 50 people in our, in our garage coming to look at the car. And they're going from garage to garage and there's no pit passes. You buy a ticket, you come into the track and you go wherever you want. It was a special thing to me because I hadn't seen John in eight months. And I wanted this car to be right I wanted him to get in the car and have fun and not have to worry about it. You know, I'm not a doctor. I can't fix him. I can fix his car. And if that in some way helped him heal, that's really special. Strapping John in the car for the first time after eight months was very special. Pushing him off pit lane, watching him leave pit lane, driving this car was Unbelievable. I'm on the track, I was coming down the front straight, and I was absolutely crying. My wife was there and my stepdaughter was there, and I was really, really emotional, and I knew there and then I was going to be okay. Seeing him come around on his second lap with his thumb up in the air right by pit wall was unbelievable. I had goosebumps. I was so happy for him and happy for everything he fought through to get here. You could see the excitement, you could see how much it meant to him. Somebody that's battling for their life, to be able to get back and do something they really love, that had a lot of healing effect for him. And to be able to contribute to that was really meaningful to me. I couldn't be happier with the way that everything came together. I couldn't be more proud of John, you know, who was a very dear friend, and set this goal for himself and, and hit it. When he called me from his hospital bed amidst treatment for leukemia, and said, put a plan together, we're gonna to take the Formula One car to Mondello. At that point, I knew John was gonna be okay because when John says he's gonna do something, he does it. Being able to be over here is fantastic. Being able to drive the car is, is even better and have the support of the team and have support of my wife is icing on the cake. Suzanne really is the rock behind John. She puts a smile on everyone's face. It's simple as that, and it's amazing to see her support John so much. Eight months ago, he was diagnosed with leukemia. He's back here driving a Formula One car with his wife looking on over the pit wall. He's in a 600 horsepower animal, and that just tells you the type of person that she is. She wants John to be happy and enjoy himself, um, and it's a testament to her. I'm awfully proud of the team. I'm awfully proud of everybody at Mondello. They were just absolutely unbelievable, and the hospitality was fantastic. This trip has just been altogether very important for me in terms of my healing. So motorsports brought me back to Ireland. I'm more connected with Ireland now than I've ever been. Realistically, he wasn't strong enough to do it, but he was strong enough to do it with the help of a lot of people around him. But I think the message wasn't that, hey, I had a great time. The message was, hey, Anybody can actually do something that might seem impossible, but you really have to have the desire to do it, you have to have the commitment to do it, and then you have to follow through and do it. So he'll fly off knowing the next step of my recovery, I just completed it, and now we'll set another even higher step. And it's amazing what the mind perceives the body achieves, and he's a living example of that today.